Hey everyone, Mike Locke here, and I wanted to give you a quick preview of a new and upcoming Aberdeen study that we did called AI in the Future Workplace. So we're now four years out from the beginning of the pandemic lockdown that changed the way so many of us operate in our daily work lives. And while that lockdown was a major catalyst in reshaping what work looks like today and what it will look like in the future, it's not the only catalyst. Advancements in technology infrastructure, in automation of manual processes, and emerging technology like machine learning and artificial intelligence, they're really starting to highlight a new path forward for so many businesses and the people who work there, regardless of whether it's a remote, hybrid, or in-person environment. So this particular study was designed with this in mind, to explore the dynamics of technology in this new, future-looking business work landscape, and as with all Aberdeen research, try to uncover the outcomes that companies are seeing as a result. So a couple of teaser highlights from the study that I wanted to point out here. First, the number one driver influencing workplace culture in 2024 and beyond is the greater use of AI to improve productivity. So among 300 companies surveyed, this was the most commonly cited driver. Secondly, and in support of that, we're seeing a much greater push around hiring to bring in AI-related talent and skill sets. So 35% of companies, more than a third of companies are investing in headcount initiatives for AI in 2024. And that's an increase from when we last looked at this in the fall. Third, and this is where Aberdeen's focus on results comes into play, we're seeing significant productivity gains for companies that have dedicated investment dollars for AI strategy. Companies that do are, are experiencing almost twice the productivity gains as those that don't. And for small and mid-sized companies, investment in AI is correlated with almost three times the productivity gains, um, three times for companies that uh, have AI investment initiatives versus those that don't. So the scope of this study touches on everything from technology infrastructure to security, to human capital management and customer experience as well. We'll be rolling out insights from this study over the next couple weeks so that you, our audience, and our partners can learn how AI is impacting employees across business units, industries, titles, and more. What your company can do to stay ahead of the curve. Thanks for watching and have a great day.